I live in Ferndale. I have an organic dairy. I'm a husband. I'm a father. And I'm a grandfather. I attended local schools, Bay Area schools, and Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. I'm not a politician, so don't expect smooth talk, but you can expect real answers. Many people have come to me asking that I run for supervisor that we need skills and a personality that is focused on productivity and implementation. We have highways that need attention. We have a port that is underutilized. The second largest bay, natural bay, on the California coast. We have business community here and individual citizens that struggle with permitting and enforcement issues and a drug problem that is near epidemic proportion. Our railroad needs to be looked at with all the options. It is extremely important. I have lived through some of the catastrophic disasters that have hit Humboldt County and here in California, and we really need to, to look at it. All the options must be open. We have recreational and business opportunities that rely on leadership and listens, plans, and expects implementation. Decisions need to be made that make sense for each and every community within Humboldt County. And the reasons that I'm running are the same reasons that so many of us choose to live here and the reasons that we choose to stay here. Uh, but I believe Humboldt County is a great place to live, to work, start a business, to raise a family. And as we grow, which we will and which we need to, it's important that we know what things we want to hold on to and what things we need to change. We all want to protect our working forests and our farmlands to uh, make sure that they can continue to provide food, timber, good jobs, um, and uh, they also provide open space, and they provide a, a strong connection to our heritage up here. Uh, at the same time, we need to build a stronger, stronger local economy, we need to provide more affordable housing, and we need to build safe and healthy communities. Uh, these are obviously all complicated issues. We've got to provide infrastructure, we've got to uh, be able to deal with social services, all of the things that go into building a community. These aren't just land use issues, these are broad, all-encompassing issues, and they're not a place for someone with a, a single agenda. My broad background that I bring to this, both as a manufacturing consultant and as a community advocate working both here and in Sacramento, gives me real world experience and proven leadership to get things done. I've demonstrated that. So this isn't just words. These are, you can check the record. As a supervisor, I'll make sure that our innovative local businesses have the tools that they need to grow, including the second fiber optic line. There's nothing that we can do that has more bang for the buck and getting that in here. That's important to jobs, education, health care, all of us. You know, I was elected to Arcane City Council four years ago. The people of the largest city in our district elected me, and I've served for the past three and a half years. I bring a background that started in 1993 when I moved here. I moved to Arcata particularly because I wanted a small town Northern California with the university. I had lived in Yukata, which is a small town without a university, and I wouldn't live there again. So, in fact, I'm sure that most of us here are here one way or another because of that university. Whether your friends brought you or you came there or whatever, at least in my experience, that's what I find. Anyway, I moved here in 1993 as a single dad with three kids. I had no money, no job, and I didn't know anything, but I knew I wanted to be here. I consider this paradise. I currently am a small business owner, a landscape, mow and blow if you want to call it that. I was a teacher at Pacific Indian School for seven years as a Spanish instructor, instructor for junior high. Before that, I was a teacher's assistant and the president of PTA in Calpella River Valley, Mendocino County. I've been a union member, shop steward, and a business agent for Teamsters Local 624 out of Santa Rosa. I worked 10 years as a millwright at Mason Ike, Ukiah. 
Before that, I was an engineer, project manager for complicated high-rise construction, like 50 stories above. Prior to that, I was in college at California State University in Los Angeles. My neighborhood where I grew up, I went to college right in the neighborhood. Because that's the way poor people have to do it. You can't go all over the town. After that, prior to that, I was in the U.S. Army for three years. And at 19 years old, I was a sergeant and I ran a large group of people. And little did I know that I'd be doing this today. I also graduated from the Non-Commissioned Officers Academy in Battles, Germany, 7th Army. So that's, that's who I, I am as a background. Currently, I'm on the Humboldt Transit Authority as the chairman of the board, elected by the board, which includes two supervisors. And I've made many land use decisions as a city councilman. I'm used to land use decisions, yes and no, depending on whether it's a good or bad uh, use of land. I'm used to budget discussions. We're in them right now. And if you look at Arcata, city of Arcata's book, you know that we're in good shape in comparison to the rest of the communities around us and the county. We're, we're not that way just because we didn't know what we were doing. We had great help and we supported it. I think the thing that I offer as a supervisor is the ability to discern what is the right answer, to get away from all the talk and all the statistics and say, okay, I've heard all that. I know all that information. And now what's the right thing to do? And I think, time and again, I've landed in the right spot. And I think it's because I'm able to look at stuff, get away from the subterfuge, and get to the point. So uh, I'm also a campaign finance reform person. I don't believe in money in campaigns to the extent that I don't take money. I don't do ads, no lawn signs, no buttons, no endorsement lists. I want to stay away from that loop that has ruined our state and national politics. And I think we have an opportunity right here to start the chase. Uh, I think I have a unique background. I graduated from the University of California, Davis, uh, with a degree in landscape architecture and a focus on sustainable community development. People think of landscape architect, they think of gardens and flowers, uh, but really landscape architecture is about a much larger scale. Uh, my degree was more about combining environmental science and community development uh, and looking at how we can build communities that live lighter on the land and that are more human friendly as well. Uh, I worked uh, for a firm in New England and New Hampshire for uh, about a year and a half where I had a chance to do everything from work on uh, a general plan update process to work on uh, town center master plans. I even designed a pedestrian circulation program uh, for a nuclear power plant. Uh, they had a problem where the, the executives all got to park close and all the workers parked further away and the executives would get to their cars first and, and run the employees over as they were leaving. So I had an opportunity to work on a really interesting problem there. Uh, because of a, a, a layoff situation that happened at the, the small company I was with in, in New Hampshire, the situation is very similar to what we have in Humboldt County. There were only two landscape architecture firms in the entire state. And when mine basically had to shut down, uh, I had to, to think hard. And I found myself in a new career. And instead of doing community planning, doing financial planning uh, for individuals and small businesses. And that's a career I've been at uh, now for about 11 years. Uh, and that gave me a whole new set of skills. Uh, skills that I built on learning the planning process as a landscape architect, but learning about finance. Uh, 